Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre in the east of London as the FIH Pro League continues with the men's competition as Great Britain and Germany go head to head. Germany then in the white top, black shorts, white socks get us underway, attacking the goal away to our right hand side. Great Britain in the red shirts and white shorts. Oh, ball into the middle and a little bit of a uh, confusion and it could lead to an opportunity and it is an opportunity and it is Germany who take the lead. There was a confusion between Payne and I didn't quite see who the defender was, but Oli Payne has conceded a very early goal here. Great Britain certainly applying a very high press. Lovely skill. And again, there's another little trip. But here is the equaliser. And it's Ansel. Beautiful bit of skill from Neil Ansel. And you have to say, Great Britain, despite conceding early, have been on the front foot. They've had several opportunities. And Ansel just cutting straight through the centre of the Germany defence, levels things up. Great Britain put pressure on right from the, the outset, then a great run from Griffiths, and then it was all about Ansel, took the ball to the air, took that left and right across his body. Velen running one. Who's going to go take this on? It is going to be Dixon. Dixon onto the foot of Velen. Here's Ward, still there. Chance, good save from Apple. Creed, Brendan Creed scores his first ever international goal. And that is why the celebration is what it is. Brendan Creed, congratulations to him. Makes it Great Britain 2, Germany 1. Brendan Creed's going to celebrate this one, Simon. He is indeed. Very, very good umpiring to let this carry on. Good advantage. The goalkeeper eventually gets on top of the second phase. And Creed, back from that long injury, back on the injection, stays alert, stays in the right place. And it's Roper, Roper picks up and it's in off the postman. Muller has turned it into his own net. I don't know if that is on target to start with, but that just rubs salts in the wounds for Matthias Muller. No, this is something that Roper's done in previous Pro League games and internationals. He likes to pull it into his feet off a short slip off that, uh, the trap on the top, pulls it into his feet, creates a better angle and then whips it away off a really short drag taken by Rotlander and a chance here perhaps for Germany good work and they've got their one back they've got one back now who got the last touch let's have a look uh, it's back marking once again and unfortunately it's that situation where if I think that's Thies Prince who's got the last touch on that that's yeah, certainly... it is Prince. Schwartz out has been robbed, and here's a chance for Griffiths. 4 2. And the high press pays dividends again for Great Britain. Chris Griffiths showing good awareness to go around Mark Apple and make it a two, two goal game once more. Finish here. It was all about Griffiths' steal to start with. Defensive, a little bit uncertain and that is a lovely little movement from Griffiths as he sets it up fakes the shot at the top a little shift to the left hand side it's going to be Dersh 3 4 2 4 3 sorry Dersh with a beautiful goal sliding it across Payne to his left hand side Creed to inject and it goes to Dixon. Dixon does really well. There's a deflection from Martin on the ground. Well, that was excellent skill all round. Dixon did brilliantly to pick it up because the trap wasn't perfect, but he caught it, played it along the ground, and there was Martin in the right place to deflect it up and over the keeper. And Great Britain have another two-goal lead. Oh. 
And there is the final hooter. Well, no goals in the fourth quarter, eight in the first three. But Danny Kerry's men have secured only their second win in the Pro League this season, having beaten New Zealand what seems an age ago. But Germany, with an inexperienced team, made Great Britain work hard. And Mark Apple, with some big saves, some good saves later on in the game, kept the score, kept his team in touch. But even with 11 outfield players, Germany couldn't break down Great Britain. And Great Britain hold on for the win. Final score here at the Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre reads Great Britain 5, Germany 3.